Don't try telling me that it's not helpful to be on someone's email distribution list because it was that distribution list, thank you, Jane, that drew my attention to the upcoming Perfect Pitch Night 2022. It's uh, all part of Social Venture Partners, Waterloo Region, and to tell us more about it, we are joined by Rose Greensides, who's the Executive Director of Social Venture Partners, Waterloo Region, and Dan Hussey, who's a board member there. Rose, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mike. Thanks for having us. It's absolutely a pleasure. And Dan, good afternoon to you. Thanks, Mike. Thanks for having us on. I really uh, enjoy and appreciate the opportunity to have this conversation. Rose, let's start with you. Tell us about Perfect Pitch Night. Yeah, so Perfect Pitch, this is the third year, actually, we hosted a Perfect Pitch uh, event. We uh, did a hiatus hiatus during uh, the COVID, but are bringing it back this year just because we feel like it's such an important year to have it. Um, It really is the only pitch training program uh, for -for not-for-profit, so... You know, in this region, there's a lot of that, um, a lot of that uh, help for tech companies, but not really for the not-for-profit sector. So we created a program to help not-for-profits learn how to pitch, um, and then we couple that with an event, uh, a rapid-fire, pretty awesome, high-energy event, uh, where then these not-for-profits who have done all that work to learn how to pitch are able to go up on stage uh, and really share their story with the community, and that happens on November 1st. So, Dan, can you share a little more information with us about the organizations who are going to be participating in Perfect Pitch 2022? Yeah, absolutely, Mike. So we've got a great uh, array of organizations from across Waterloo Region. Uh, Some of them deal with homelessness. Some of them deal with um, youth issues. So it's really a great uh, array of uh, organizations trying to make an awesome impact in our community. And and what happens then, Dan, at the the end of this like this high energy evening when these pitches are made? We're obviously, if we're in the audience, going to get to learn more about these organizations. But is there a winner declared? So uh, at the night of the event, we do what's this called the audience kind of choice award, and uh, the audience basically gets to choose their favorite uh, organization, and one hundred percent of the ticket proceeds um, go to the charities. That's fantastic. So, Rose, this really ties in, I think, with what Social Venture Partners is all about. Maybe for folks who don't know a whole lot about what SVP does in the community. Can you give us a little bit of background? Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, SVP has been in Waterloo Region for about 12 years. Um, we do. We are also international. So there's about 40 SVPs around the world, all in, uh, you know, uh, different communities. Uh, we're, we're one of three uh, in Canada here. Um, but ultimately, SVP is, the, I look at it like the bridge that brings community who want to do more um, with their time, uh, their talent, and their money. And we connect them with the not-for-profit sector who really needs the support of the community to um, help build their capacity so they can ultimately do more good. Um, and and I'll, just, I'll just say, based on uh, what, what you would ask Dan uh, previously, um, you said, is there a winner? And so one of the things that uh, we try to do at SVP is not put it as a competition. All these organizations are um, so deserving and are putting in so much work. So each one of them will get a graduation prize. Um, and of course, we want uh, the audience to have uh, an opportunity to, to vote. So they will have an opportunity to vote for their favorite pitch. And as Dan said, 100% of those ticket prices uh, will go directly to the charity of the audience choice. So it really is a win-win for the charity who's participating um, and has the stage to present the story, but also for the audience to learn about some of these organizations, learn about some of these solutions, uh, and ultimately SVP wants to light that uh, philanthropic fire, if you will, um, in the community. You know, Rose, that is so well said. And I, I remember the the origins like you you talk about 12 years ago i remember when svp was formed and and the energy that was around that and i i just i love the entire model but that description of this being a a win-win for the audience to learn more and to see these organizations do their thing and then for social venture partners i would guess too rose watching what these organizations are able to accomplish through the work they do with svp yeah exactly it's it's actually that's that's the magic i feel is you know, there's about 45 partners involved in this program, so it is a really high-impact, high-involved 
program for our partners. And, you know, some of them have marketing skills that are coaching these seven organizations, but some of them don't. And so there's reciprocal learning, but also, you know, um, we hear pitches all the time. And so uh, for someone who wants to, again, learn more about some of these community issues and have an impact by giving back their time, um, it's it really is a win-win. So we're really excited about it, and uh, we really hope that the community will uh, will support these seven organizations because, you know, as you know, with all the work you do, the charitable sector has uh, taken a bit of a beating um, throughout the pandemic, and fundraising and unrestricted funding is super important. And so uh, this is an opportunity to to help these organizations again, like I said, do more good. Yeah, that's another great point. Not to mentioned the the demands placed on the staff within these organizations as demand increases in so many places during the pandemic and so on and so forth. Uh, Dan, from your perspective, what was it that drew you to the board at Social Venture Partners? Well, actually, it was this event, so it's ironic that you asked that question. <laughs> uh, I, I had moved back from Toronto and was kind of just looking for a way to get better connected with my community and stumbled upon this event and uh, just showed up, attended, and was completely blown away by the pitches, you know, learning about what's going on in my community. There's, you know, laughs, there's tears, there's uh, goosebumps. Uh, I just knew that whatever organization was putting on this quality of event, that's the organization that I had to get involved with. I love that story. And I had no idea about it. It was a random question that I decided to ask, and I'm glad that I did. (laughs) But you know what you get me thinking, Dan, because we're somewhat similar. I've spent most of my life here, but I did spend some years in Toronto with always the intent of coming back. But mm-hmm. I've said this before, and I've, I've worked in other communities too, and, and I understand community spirit, and, and each community is, you know, has its own spirit and is unique in its own way. But I, I sense, and I, I wonder if you do too, based on the story you just told, there is something in the water here in Waterloo Region. Absolutely. I mean, I think um, my, my family is kind of from here. I grew up here, and I always knew that I wanted to return as well. And so to have this kind of uh, event where you actually get to see what's going on in your community and see a way that you can you can make a difference. I mean, the the impact of Perfect Pitch beyond just this evening is huge. You know, you can get involved with the charity. You can become a donor. You can volunteer. You might even become a board member. Just like you. Be like Dan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rose, we have primed the pump here. How can folks get involved on Tuesday, November the 1st, 6 to 9, for Perfect Pitch 2022? Yeah, so we have a couple of options. Uh, people can join virtually. So new this year is that we created a virtual platform just because we didn't know how, how COVID would play out in this event is in, in, in the works for about a year. So uh, there is a virtual option. Uh, there will be a, a voting platform for those who are attending virtual as well. So, so those votes count, uh, and then in person on November 1st. So you can get tickets by just visiting our website, and that's at um, svpwr.org. Um, or you can just Google Perfect Pitch Waterloo, and I think we're, we're pretty close to the top there. Um, and, and, yeah, come learn about these organizations, get to know them, um, and, uh, and ultimately let's, let's work together to make this community really the best place to live. And you know what? You uh, did a pretty good job picking a venue here for the in-person part at the Hamilton Family Theatre in Cambridge. You you can't do much better than that. We did. We (laughs) changed it. I'm from Cambridge, and so I feel like there's a lot of focus in Waterloo. So we wanted to draw our partners into the Cambridge Cambridge geography, and there's quite a few um, charities that are actually uh, based in Cambridge this year that are participating. So... Um, if I'm able just to run down quickly uh, the organizations that are involved, Mike, I think that would be uh, a great if you can give me like a few more seconds to do that. I'll give you as many seconds as you want, Rose. Okay, don't say that. <laughs> You're going to regret that. Uh, so we have Child Witness Center, uh, the Children and Youth Planning Table, um, Porchlight Counseling and Addictions, and they are formerly uh, Family Counseling Center of Cambridge, North Dumfries. The Timbridge Community Association, Shore Center, Supportive Housing of Waterloo, and Women's Crisis Services of Waterloo Region. So as you can see, it's a really great lineup 
of some really interesting stories to be heard. I hope we pack that theater on November the 1st uh, for folks to find out more and just get those all of those good vibes that Dan talked about as well. Love what you're doing. Thanks to both of you for being on the show today. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Mike. Rose Greensides and Dan Hussey joining us. Rose is the executive director of Social Venture Partners Waterloo Region. Dan, one of its board members, Perfect Pitch 2022 comes up on Tuesday, the 1st of November at the Hamilton Family Theatre in Cambridge. Details, tickets, svpwr.org. It'll be an inspiring night, if nothing else.